guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do His Part. I'm Ashley, if you're new. A lot of you have been requesting to do a car cleaning with me. So me and my husband are gonna scrub the outside and then I'm gonna work on the inside and I'm also gonna show you everything you should be keeping in your car. So if that's something you wanna see, then just stay tuned. Here's everything that we use to clean our car. You're gonna need a bucket and a hose, which my husband's getting. And then here's the car wash stuff that we're using now. We like to clean our tires. And then any type of sponges and brushes that you wanna use. And we're cleaning my car because we've been on vacation and it's full of bugs. So I always start by spraying the car down so it's nice and wet and then you'll see me fill up the bucket of water. I've already got soap in the bottom so as I spray it, it makes bubbles. Now you'll see me focus in. I'm gonna be working on the front of the car because obviously it's the worst from driving. Um, we're out in the country, so we already get a little bugs coming home and leaving here at night. And then we just got back from our trip from Arkansas, so it's just covered. So you'll see me pretty much working on the front the entire time. As I clean, I like to go ahead and spray it off so I can see what's left. I can see what's gonna come off and what's not, what's still stuck. And so I could like to spray it down and then check it and re-clean it. So we have always hand washed our cars, um, even growing up that I remember doing it every Saturday with my family during the summer. It's just cheaper. I feel like you get it cleaner than anybody else would. And it just feels good when you get done and you look at your car and it's sparkling and all nice and shiny. It's just, I don't know, it's very rewarding and we never pay to have our cars clean. We always wash them ourselves. Now I'm gonna go around and make sure to scrub the tires and the wheels so that they look nice and sparkly as well. When you're finished cleaning it, make sure that you wash off the soap very well. Just make sure to rinse it. And we're gonna do that one last time to make sure all the suds are gone. And then we have separate towels that we keep out in our garage just for when we're washing our car. And we're gonna take those towels and dry it off so there's no streaks and it looks nice and pretty. The insides of your doors can get really dirty and dusty, so every time that I'm drying my car off, I like to take that damp towel and just wipe off the inside of the door and like the door area so that that part stays clean. And here is how the outside turned out. Now I'm gonna take my Dyson vacuum and I have attachments for it and I'm gonna hook those on and vacuum out the inside of my car. Thank you. 
Once I finish vacuuming, I like to condition my leather and I either use a Leather Care or Armor All and I like to wipe down everything inside. I have black leather and it gets really hot here so I like to keep it really conditioned so it doesn't crack or peel. And then the last thing I do is I use my window cleaner from the Dollar Tree. It's like a vinegar mix. I use it on all my windows and glass inside. And I use it on my car windows as well with my ink cloth um, window rag. And I like to clean the windows on the inside and outside because there are always fingerprints everywhere. Okay, now that the outside's clean and the inside's clean, I kind of wanted to show you the things that I keep in my car that I feel like are a must, especially if you have kids. So I'm gonna start here, and I always keep a ton of getting napkins. I don't think you can have too many, especially if you have kids, but even if not, I just feel like sometimes they forget to give them to you, so I always keep this in there. Um, scissors are another big one. I pull these out all the time. So go get yourself a cheap pair from like the Dollar Tree or somewhere and keep a pair of scissors in your car. And then another must here in Oklahoma, I don't know around other states, but is bug spray. It's summertime, even when it's not, sorry guys, it's windy today. Um, even when it's not summer, I just leave it in here so that I always have it. So the other things that I like to keep in my car is change, which I think everybody has that. And then I also keep a sunglasses. I keep some in my uh, purse, but if I don't have my purse or they haven't been in there, I like to always leave a pair in here. And then other things that I feel like is a must is a hairbrush. And then I keep detangler, so if we're ever swimming or outside and it gets windy, I can do my daughter's hair, and I think there's even like rubber bands down there. And then always a car charger as well, which that's hooked into my car. So I like to keep those things. And then um, chapstick, I feel like is a must. And then my husband always keeps a pair of sunglasses in here as well. Now for my daughter, I like to keep her things. She has her wireless headphones that hook up to our movies. And then she keeps DVDs in here to watch. She rarely watches them. It's mainly if we take our long road trip, but I like to just have them in the car. And then we always keep car bingo, and then like crosswords, and then just paper. And then she keeps a pair of sunglasses. But I feel like if you keep your kids entertained, then they're not bugging you as much. Now she's good, we have one, so they're not like fighting or anything, but she always keeps that in here just for her to be entertained. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I keep in the back of my car, and I think one of the most important things is a blanket. You never know if you're gonna break it down, or be in an accident, or wanna have a picnic, so always keep a blanket in your car, because you can wash it and just throw it and put it back in there. And then I also keep this like plastic tray back here, and I think it's meant for shoes, but with kids, they get dirty or they're swimming if anything's wet you can put it in here and then it keeps your interior carpet from getting dirty and then I also have this back pocket that we just keep safety stuff in so road hazards ice scrapers that stuff stays back here and then I'm gonna bring you around Okay, now we're on the driver's side, which is my side, and I always have coupons down here in my door. Um, so when we're out and wanna pick something up, we have those. And then an umbrella. I don't care where you live, you always need an umbrella in your car. And I wanna thank iSpeckle for sponsoring this part of the video, and they sent me this really cool umbrella that I wanna show you. Here in Oklahoma, it can rain at any time, it can snow at any time, 
the wind is crazy. You can probably even see it in this video. <laughs> like it is nuts. And so they sent me this umbrella that is able to handle high speed winds. And it also has safety features that I wanna show you. So if my daughter uses this or grabs it, we have this little button here and all I have to do is press it and it opens up on its own and it's made so it won't pinch your fingers going up or down and it's windy and and if I had a cheap umbrella it would already be pushed all the way out inside out here in Oklahoma and then it also has this custom trim right here and at night it's reflective so if I'm out and have an accident or anything I can always pull this out and it's kind of like a safety feature that was built in and then to close it I just press it again and it comes down and I lock it and it is good to go and it has such nice quality um, I think it's gonna last a long time and that says a lot here in Oklahoma with our wind so if you guys want to check this out I'll leave the link down in my description box you can go see it and I'll also leave a coupon code down there as well Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me clean my car and how I do it. And maybe you guys found some new tips. Also go check out iSpeckle's website and look at the umbrella. If you guys like this, please hit the like button um, down below and please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.